Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and we are going to work with an amazing program called Greatest Paper Airplanes. There are some steps that I need you to follow, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so the first thing is I want you to understand that in this video, you are going to click the description, do the show more, and then you're going to click on this link to visit the Greatest Paper Airplanes website. Before it even starts, I want you to move the mouse to the top, right click, and I want you to mute that site. Now see here, it is popping in air. They have got steps to fix it. I'll hit view guide, and then we're using uBlock Origin. What you need to do is go up here and look at your extensions. We need to find the uBlock Origin, and we need to bring it up on the screen. You need to shut it off for this website, and click reload and then boom this website greatest paper airplanes will launch there are a few other settings I want you to get used to fixing we need to go over here to the zoom and set it to 175 this way it is easier to read the other thing I've got to have you understanding is that when we start this emulator you do not get to really click out unless you press the escape key Escape is on the top left corner of your keyboard. I'll show you a picture of that to help it make more sense. Friends, when you click start, it will load in what they call a DOS box. This is a sweet emulator that brings back a game or a program from a long time ago. It makes it run on a newer PC. You can see this is using Windows 3.1. I happen to have used this way back in the 1990s when it came out. When it launches, the first time you click, it says, hey, I just took your cursor. The only way to get it back, like I want to touch this side, I can't do that unless I press the escape key. Right now we don't want to hit escape, we just want to double click the Greatest Paper Airplanes program. Remember if this makes noise, quickly press escape, go up here, right click and mute the site. I had it muted, you can tell because it has the little speaker is off. And then when Greatest Paper Airplane launches, you can see it just took control of my cursor again. If I click a second time, we actually get to see the program. Now we're gonna use this for a lot of amazing things. We're gonna make paper airplanes and all sort of fun stuff like that. Right now, today though, we're just gonna learn the history of flight. Friends, these are the steps. So friends, once you're in here, the project works like this. We're gonna learn all about flying, history, facts, details, and then you're gonna put answers to these in a Google Jamboard. I'll have a link in the description of this to the Jamboard so that you can make a copy and fill it out yourselves. It'll look similar to this, but it'll have all five pages filled out. When you see a name, you need to click the note and then you need to tell what Leonardo da Vinci did in the program. Since we know the first question was about Leonardo da Vinci, as you read this, notice Leonardo da Vinci in the 15th century believed that we could learn how to fly by imitating birds. In fact, bird flight is very complex and not well suited for the study of human flight. So then in your Jamboard, you would need to create a sticky note and type that stuff in. Make sure that you capitalize, make sure that you punctuate. If you want to put which one of you solved it, you can put it right there. Uh, if you want to verify it, that would be fantastic to have a second sticky note so that you knew that your facts were good. And you can put checked, and we'll pretend I have a partner, kid.harmon. And that way, as we solve all these, you're keeping track of what you learn. We're going to also use these basic facts on quizzes, and we may even have a fun kahoot to go along with them. Returning to the lesson, once again, you've got to go through the first 17 pages. So once you've read through this page, you simply click the arrow to move to the page after it. Notice sometimes it takes two clicks because you came in or came out with the escape key. And take your time reading and learning the info on the pages. Friends, when you're reading these, of course, keep track of the bold words. They're going to be useful, but also learn all the names. And if you want, take a moment to click the animations and the pictures. They do show you cool stuff and make the reading just a little more entertaining. As you move through, you'll notice this is still on the history tab. Talks about different kinds of aircraft. Once again, very important and interesting. You can also click the picture and all the blue words. Here is where we switch to aerodynamics. These are things that we're gonna use, thrust, gravity, drag, lift. Learn about them here. Make sure you're following this closely. 
when you get to the next page, it's actually a great experiment about the Bernoulli effect. We learn about this, and this may be one of the better places that you actually see information about it. It's also what makes our little aircraft we make later fly, so it's really cool. More information about aerodynamics. This is great stuff about how the wings move, how you throw them faster or slower to find out what is best with the aircraft that you've designed. The next tab that we moved to was the terminology. So we've got the aerodynamics and the terminology. These are parts that we built on our own aircraft in Tinkercad. This is just one more chance to make sure you know where they all are and how they work. Note, if you do click on them, they are animated so it explains what they do. Notice we're finishing on 15 and 16, so make sure you learn these three and the important dihedral angle as you work through these steps and answer all the questions that are back in our Google Jamboard. Friends, when you're done with all the reading, make sure you get back to the Google Jamboard. Make sure you have filled out all the pages of the Jamboard, and then you need to create one share link for your entire group. You want to change the link so that it is just a viewer and then you want to copy the link and paste it in the comments on Google Classroom so that way we can check out just how cool these all turned out. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video or found it useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.